Hey everyone. Um, so <laughs> my chin is super red today. I just kind of I was picking. <laughs> I had some clogged pores and I was picking. Uh, but it'll probably go down in a minute and we're gonna put some makeup on, so yeah. I have some new stuff to try. I if this isn't like a massive haul or anything, but I did get a few things from Beauty Bay, so I got the Nabla Dreamy Palette. I don't know why, but I kind of left it in the cardboard because it's so pretty. I feel like if you write, like, I feel like I have my own buzzwords, like, dreamy. Like, I don't know, that word, like, if you put that in on, like, a makeup product, I'll probably buy it. Anything to do with, like, zodiac or constellations, stars, like, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's just me. Okay, so that's the front. I feel like it looks so pretty. I kind of like these little details on the edge. It's not like real metal, but it's like, you know, faux <laughs> metal, I guess. Um, And like all of the stars, it's not just like silver or gold, there's like rose gold ones too. I thought that was quite cool. Um, I think this is so pretty. It's very basic, but to be honest, I don't really have like a lot of just basic palettes. <laughs> How do you get this off? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Mm, satisfying. Okay, so we had this. But I also bought, and I don't know if this is going to be too dark for me, but when I was looking at the undertones and the bronzers, most of the light ones were kind of like warm. Oh my god, my face is so red. <laughs> um, They were quite warm, and I felt like this one kind of had a neutral. Well, it said it had a neutral. So this is the Nabla um, oh god, reflection book soft revenge it's called um yeah so i thought i'd try that and then i seen that makeup revolution of doing like a kind of looks like a dupe of the charlotte tilbury liquid highlight i don't know what exactly it's called the one with the little sponge on the on the end so this looks like it's going to be a dupe of that so i thought i'd try that and then i don't know why i got this but this is like Revolutions Extra Hold Brow Glue. And it's just a clear brow gel, but I don't know. I've been using the laminate. Oh god, this is already looking kind of gross. <laughs> but yeah, like I've been using this brow gel and I don't really find it like holds them down as much, but I kind of like the effect. So I thought I'd try this to see if it holds a bit better. And I did try it the other day and it, it makes your brows feel kind of crunchy, but they stay in place. So, let's get started. Problem, I'm just using the Beauty Bay eye primer. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Is everyone kind of over summer? Like, kind of feels like our summer's finished now. Um, <laughs> yeah, like, it's getting pretty, starting to feel like the autumn coming in. And I must admit, autumn and winter were always, like, one of my favourite times of the year until I, until I got, like, um, fibromyalgia and then, like, it kind of started ruining the colder ones for me because the cold kind of makes you tense up more, which makes it kind of harder. It's kind of, like, the same effect that people with arthritis have in the winter kind of gets worse but yeah like I love being all cozy and inside <laughs> and stuff but when I have to go outside not so much I'm definitely kind of a home bird I'd say So let's start. 
I'm trying to think, I guess, because I do have a purple one today, maybe we should try and go into the more purpley ones. Um, I kind of like the names of these. Well, some of them. Delirium and Inception. No, that sounds kind of cool. Let me swatch. I don't know why, but like I'm very, always very cautious of like you, the first use of my palette. Like, don't like messing up the um the newness. But obviously, if <laughs> that's the most stupid thing you could ever do, because why else would you buy things? Why? So, um, okay. This one's Delirium, and this one's Inception. Mm, what do we go for? I think I want to do Delirium. Um, okay, let me see. But we're obviously going to start with um, Lullaby, which is this one. Okay, so I hope I'm not like too bright. Sometimes like this window kind of washes things out a bit, so I am sorry if that's the case, but yeah. I don't really have like the best lighting. Oh, forget it. <laughs> it will have to do. Maybe if I lean back and then just use this palette. If you can hear snoring, I have a doggo in the background just there. I don't know if you can see him. Sharpe, his name's Leo. I feel like I'm, in case you don't know, I'm one of those people who kind of apologises a lot, so, yeah. I always say sorry even when it's for nothing, thing, some things that aren't even my fault. People bump into me when I'm out and I say sorry. It's so stupid. Probably get a brush. I feel like the texture of these feels like it's kind of gonna be okay on a brush or finger, but like, yeah. I was thinking a brush might be better if I'm gonna wet it. So I bought this a while back now when XX Revolution came out with all this stuff and I thought it was just going to be like a dewy spray like I don't know it's literally got glitter in so the only thing I can use this for now is spraying my eyeshadows because it's just got pink glitter in and I don't want that all over my face. I don't know who does to be honest but okay. I think in a minute I'll try and take something a little bit darker to try and like buff the edges but let's just get it slapped on first. Okay so we got it on. I'm just gonna get a like blending brush and hmm, I'm gonna mix Lullaby and hmm, Lullaby and dog, Dogma. This one and this one. And then I'm just gonna go
I feel like every time I put on dark eyeshadow, I just feel like a villain. Like a Disney villain, anybody? No? Just me? It sucks as well, because I really do like dark like looks but i feel like on me they look super drastic for some reason maybe it's just me now i'm gonna go back in with delirium again just to make sure that the shimmer is popping through sometimes when you blend it just kind of like can knock away some of the shimmer so you want it to stand out Um, I'm just picking up Inception and just putting like the tiniest bit on the inner part and then we'll go in with Immaculate on the very inner corner to make it like shine. Sorry, <laughs> just like <lose. laughs> Okay, let's get another brush. And um, we're taking this. And we go in here. Oh my god, that's so pretty. Whoa. Super pretty on the inner corner. I might even put a little bit up here, maybe. So this is where we're at so far. Okay. Give it a little bit more of a, a blend. So I think maybe just to make sure that it's like fully, I'm going to go in with Illusion, which is this one. Just on, I'm going to go in with a really small brush if I can find one. I, okay, I really like this palette. I wouldn't say it's revolutionary, <laughs> no, but there's some really nice colours in here. I I think this was about £32.50, something like that. Hmm. I'd say it does feel nice and I, I do, like everything I've tried from Nebula I've enjoyed, like, and it's not really like the super high end of high end <laughs> it's not like i don't know there are some palettes now that go up to like 50 pound this one it's really pretty and i feel like it's like a good basic palette for me anyway because i like to have like my neutrals and i need to have purple i don't know why purple must just be like a very um I don't know, like, a, a colour I'm really drawn to. Um, yeah, so, really nice palette. I can't, I feel like this is just so pretty too. Like, the packaging on this, like, even though it's cardboard, it still kind of looks, looks. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Um, right, now, I think, what are we moving on to next? I better put some foundation on. Um... I think I'm going to go with the, 
Wilma again. Yeah. So normally I just go in straight with a sponge but today I'm gonna go in with a brush and then I'll probably smooth that out with a sponge later if I can be bothered getting up and you know wetting it. It's the only thing with sponges. It's like I hate forgetting to like wet it before I start my makeup. Sit down and I'm like ugh I gotta get back up. <laughs> You can tell how lazy I am. Okay, um, I'll run and get a sponge in a second. Okay, I'm back with the sponge. Hmm. When I was in the bathroom, I kind of noticed that, um, I kind of noticed that it's a little bit like dark above here. So I'm going to go over that with some, like a lighter powder from a different palette just to, um, this is the Anastasia, 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 Beverly Hills, whatever you call it, um, the Carly Bible palette. I got this like while it was on sale for like £20 or £22. I'm just using the shade Bear, which is this. Let's do some concealer. I think I'm just going to use the e.l.f. I mean, <laughs> the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. Definitely one of my favourites, I'd say. Okay, these, let's try this. I'm kind of intrigued. I feel like the, um, the whole collection they came out with, this one, whatever it looks like, Goddess Glow Collection or something, they, it seemed like they were trying to do like the little Charlotte Tilbury palettes too. Um, so yeah, I don't know if I can open this. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. Great. Let's see if I can, oh, that comes out pretty quick. Like I wasn't, you just like untwist it and then squeeze and it comes out. Um, okay. Um, 
spongy. Be any louder. Hmm? Looking the wrong way, you know. Little stink big. I'd say this is a touch too. Like, if I put my head forward, I can see a little bit of a dark cast. It's not super noticeable, like I feel like once I get like blush and stuff on, you won't be really be able to tell. But yeah, like um I like that, like it didn't really break up the makeup or anything. Um I'd say the only thing is you have to kinda I wouldn't do what I did where I just like put it there and let it sit while well. it was like blending it all out and waiting. I'd say do do it in sections because it, it kind of wants this to dry. It's, it does seem to dry down, but it is a pretty highlight. I like no doubt. Like um, I don't really have many liquid highlighters, but like I really should start using them more because they're so like more reflective, so much more reflective than powder highlights but i think it's because i've got like oily skin well kind of like combo oily skin i'd say um let's try this and yeah mm, i'll find a brush <laughs> You know, it's definitely one of those bronzers that's not, it's not like a super strong pigment from the get-go. I'd say this is something you can build up, but I'm glad of that because bear in mind, this is kind of a dark colour for me, like, um, but it's like the right undertone, I feel, so I'm glad I got this. And I think it's going to look really pretty with this highlight. Okay. That's a bit better, sorry. <laughs> All right, so just like move it back more because it's kind of just getting too washed out if it's a bit too close. So I'm sorry if this like has been a bit awkward to watch with that um i'm still new to this still learning so yeah um i should probably stop with the bronzer but why am i still going it's a really nice buildable bronzer and i feel like this and the highlight nice duo but also this this highlight and this revolution highlight i'm kind of impressed like pretty nice. I've never really tried any Charlotte Tilbury stuff. It, I just haven't. It's not really in my price range. <laughs> um, yeah, so. <laughs> okay, um, Oh, by the way, that highlighter, um, 
that was the lightest shade so I feel like they need to add more lighter shades I don't know how dark it goes either it might just but yeah um to be fair to makeup revolution they, they they've always been quite good with the shade ranges for the most part but yeah like I know a lot of people trash on makeup revolution but I really like them like I just don't really think there's I don't know like they have a lot of good products um and sure like some of it's not the greatest quality I'm not sitting here saying that they're the best brand that like you need to like buy them over higher end stuff but if you've not got the money you can make it work with revolution like and there is some stuff in my routine that you know like I just really enjoy so from them and I think oh, stupid light <laughs> I think I think it is like really pretty and you know kind of like good enough quality to to rival some of it almost but I don't know it's almost be I feel like partially it's revolution's fault because they have this bad name because basically they copy other ideas and try to give affordable dupes to people but I want to know where everyone stands on that do you like revolution do you hate them let me know like I I kind of like them <laughs> and it's nice sometimes to have get sometimes you can get the dupe and then you can realize oh this wasn't really as good as I thought it was going to be I'm not really like not really like enjoying the color scheme or something like that. there are things that you can basically try out without spending all that money to see if it works for you is what I'm trying to say and yeah like you've got to remember as well I'd say like revolution they um they kind of appeal to a lot of teenagers as well because you know when you're young you don't have a lot of money for makeup but the thing with revolution is they still offer like a really nice experience like the packaging's always really nice um so like it can feel a bit more luxurious than it actually is which i i kind of like like i'm not gonna lie revolution's got some good stuff um yeah those eyebrows aren't my best work um but it doesn't really matter that much because all I want to do is try this brow glue out and see whether it I mean I already know it like holds them but I kind of wish the um the wand was a little bit smaller you know not everybody has massive eyebrows and even if you do I kind of feel like most people would prefer a smaller wand okay they're nice and fluffed hmm. felt going on like kind of wet though like sticky so we'll see how that goes let's throw on some um first i'm gonna tight line Ooh. 
Okay. Um, mascara. Shit. Sorry. My room's a bit of a mess, so like I need to clean my brushes and stuff. So there's all stuff on the side. Um. This mascara is probably like one of my favourites of this year. It's the Maybelline Sky High, the one that went around TikTok for so long. Um, I'd say this, I can get some really good length out of this. And the volume's not bad either. It's just, I'm not really big on clumpy lashes. Like, I like them to look long and separated with a little bit of volume, but not like where I'm, my lashes are all clumped together. That's a bit much for me. But like I'd say, the best mascaras I've found, Soap and Glory Thick and Fast has always been really good. Like you get, I normally get it in, you know, the big, the way they have the massive gift sets at Christmas. And before Christmas, they kind of go down to about 30 pound. Um, and it normally always comes, I just got off the bed now. <laughs> um, normally, always comes in that gift set. So, oh, I've already managed to get mascara on my face. Well done. I feel like that gift set's like a given. Like most people get that for Christmas. Um, my mum always gets me it for Christmas. I do kind of wish they'd mix it up a bit though. Hmm. I feel like lashes would look good with this, but I cannot be bothered today. Like, I'm, I'm not very good at lashes at the best of times, but like, I don't know. They kind of irritate my eyeballs. <laughs> like, it just feels super heavy on. Um, and I'm super impatient with the glue. I know I need to wait, but I constantly just can't. Can't wait, and then I just put it on too quick, and then it slides all over the place. It's a whole thing. Of course. <laughs> Um, probably, I'm going to let the mascara <laughs> mess dry and then I think I'll, while I'm doing, while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'll go in with Lullaby. Let's put on some, hmm. yeah, I feel like this brow gel, they don't feel like they're going anywhere, um, pretty nice, and I really do like this bronzer, I feel like it, it's a perfect tone for me, like, I'm pleasantly surprised and shocked considering it was dark, normally, like, if I get a bronzer too dark for me, I just end up looking really strange, um, like most people. But what should I do now? Mm, lips. Mm, um, I'm using soaps. What is this called? I 
think it might be like candy icing or something like that. It's still basically the lighter colour um, she came out with. And I'm just using the lip liner first. Um, let's try and get this off, if I can. Let's do setting spray. Um, and I think I'm done. <laughs> so this this will look. You look at. Turned out quite nice, especially considering my skin has been like so dry lately. I'm just gonna go back into the palette and Thank you for watching this video, if you watch this video. Um, please subscribe, um, that would mean the world to me. Like, I don't really make these videos, I make these videos for my own reasoning and my own pleasure, but I'd love to have a community of people who like are into the same stuff that I am. I don't really have a lot of friends that are into makeup, so I'd love to hear your comments and opinions. Um, that's it really. Um, I just wanted to show off this palette because yeah, I bought it and I know I shouldn't have, but I couldn't help myself. Nabla is su Nabla is such a nice company. Like honestly, I'm really impressed with their stuff and really impressed with the highlighter too. Um, anyway, that's it. Like ah, uh, that's it. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Sorry about this mirror that's been in the view the whole time. It is chaos. Sorry. Bye.